Okay, uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> the temperature uh, outside today is uh, almost a uh, hundred degree Fahrenheit. So inside, uh, okay, uh, I operated my electric pan using my solar equipment. Okay, it's working. <coughs> the power source of this electric pan is actually an inverter. This is a 2400 inverter sine wave. Okay. It's 2,400, so it could accommodate an electric pan. And the other load is actually a big, uh, what they call this, uh, refrigerator. This is the refrigerator terminal, and this is the electric pan terminal. So right now, um, <coughs> uh, I am operating my refrigerator. That's it. This is the terminal. It goes at the bottom. Goes there. And the other terminal is for the electric pan. It could carry the load because uh, the sun is too hot. Actually, uh, I check the charging current right now. The charging current is uh, 9.1 appears coming from the solar panels outside. Uh, those are the solar panels outside. It is wired going to the gazebo, then it goes inside the house. Okay, uh, so the terminals from the uh, solar panels are this one. Okay, it goes to the solar uh, controller. Okay, right now the current coming from the solar panel is 10 point, uh, what you, 10 point 3 amperes then the terminals of the solar controller goes to the terminals of this uh, 200 ampere bat hour battery which are connected in parallel uh, these two here are connected in parallel this is 100 ampere hour this is 100 ampere hour this is the passive terminal I connected this one so this uh, the passive terminal is common to both okay it's connected to the passive terminal of the uh, solar controller the other terminal of the solar controller is the negative one this one and the negative terminal of the two batteries are this one first one and second one so they are in parallel so to charge these two here connect the negative terminal coming from the solar controller passive terminal con from the solar controller so while you are using okay uh, these batteries are charging okay so as soon as uh, as long as these batteries are charged the solar inverter will be alive so whatever load you place on the so called uh, inverter it will operate it's a sine wave alternating current so right now, like what you're seeing, the electric pan is uh, doing good, okay? And the, uh, uh, what do you call this, refrigerator, I would like to show you that it is really operating. Uh, I would like to open the red, so it's operating. This is lighted, so it's working, and its power source for the meantime is the inverter. Uh, what a, what they call this uh, savings in energy consumption so if I could uh, operate this two here for six hours uh, I'm saving some electric bill so instead of uh, using the convenience outlet coming from the utility line like right now the Sun is too hot okay the solar panels are charging my battery and it, it is giving 10.3 amperes right now or oh, 7.1 7.1 it's burying right so while uh, these two here are plugged in here this is alive 
and this is alive because the power coming from the battery is always uh, there is always a battery uh, juice due to the solar panels okay uh, this is my solar equipment uh, this is professor David J. De Los Reyes I'm using this one right now because it is too hot okay uh, we got so much juice coming from the solar panel to charge our batteries so why will will I not use it okay good, good afternoon from Los Angeles this is professor David J. De Los Reyes